Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to my first of two videos for my trip to Triple Play Vintage in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. This was on Monday, July 17th. This first video, there's not a lot of cards to show you. There's only 11 cards to show you, but there are some good cards in here. Some bangers in here. Uh, what's Michael Myers call them? Big boy cards or something like that. So these are all cards that were $10 or higher. Well, there's a couple little exceptions, but it's grouped together. Y you'll see. So yeah, these cards are all $10 or higher, and I got some really good ones here. TTM purposes, PC purposes. So starting off, $10 on the Burt Blylevin rookie. Now, I've already got one of these signed by him. I've got probably three more cards of the, his rookie card here. Now, he is a pirate, former pirate. Member of the 1979 World Series team. He's a Hall of Famer, a Hall of Fame Pirate, 10 bucks. I think this one's going to get sent out TTM. Like I said, I have three others. This one's probably the nicest of the three remaining. I have one other one that I have received from him already. So, yeah, that's the game plan for this one. And who knows when this video is going to get shown. Let's be realistic. The cards, hopefully my TTM cards in this video are already back by then, but we shall see. Next up, I hit their... See, this was, from, this was from the $10 table. Next up, I went through their freshest box of well-loved vintage. Now, I picked out four cards. Only one of them was $10 or higher, but the other three, they're from the same group. I kept them in this video. We have a $1 Dick LeBeau. I believe that's a 67 Philadelphia. I could be wrong. But that'd be a nice thing to send out through the mail. Only five bucks on the 53 tops. Mike Sandlock, high number. The condition is decent. I do not see any creases except for a little hairline creases here, which aren't very noticeable because of the logo. So eventually, I'm going to make. I'm going to be done collecting my 1960s Pirates team sets, and I'll want to start working on the 50s. Well, my 50s won't be as specific as far as condition being really, really strong. So this one's okay. A little miscut here. Got some red, probably, you know, a different card. Anyway, it's all good. So nice pickup for five bucks. We'll get to the $10 an hour pretty soon. How can I pass up the Ralph Kiner? Top to bottom, it's not staring very well. And there's a crease, but that's why this was only $8. Nice. All right, there's the $10 card. From their well-loved vintage, the 59, we've got Ashburn and Mays. So, Richie Ashburn, Willie Mays. This card looks so nice. I'm looking at it thinking, it's not really all that bad. The corners are a little bit rounded. That's why it's 10 bucks. So, there we go. All right, time to go higher than 10 bucks. From their half-off table, I picked out two cards from their table that had stacks of vintage cards that were marked half-off. So, there's a $12 Bobby Chance. That's got to get sent out through the mail. Man, those are pretty. 15 bucks for the Chris Hamburger rookie. It's not that great, that great a condition. The surface is not all that clean. But I don't have his rookie card. He signs through the mail. Now, I know Michael Myers, you know, he wants to send this out. Doesn't want it personalized. Well, neither do I. I'm, I might. My game plan as of right now is to send this card with a $20 bill, ask him not to personalize. I'd say it's worth the risk. So 15 bucks on the Chris Hamburger rookie. So as I was checking out, now there is one card that I haven't showed yet. I'm kind of not going in the order with which I purchased, with which I purchased items on this trip. But um, as I was about to check out, there was a box of more half price cards that essentially are going to go into their showcase from what I figure. And I pulled out three cards. I got a Vern Law rookie, the Bowman rookie, 51, for $20. I have to send this one out. I already have one signed by him, but as a Pirates fan, this is like, why wouldn't I? Great pickup. This next one was a... We're getting some big boy cards here. The 53 Elroy face. It's a high number. I do not see any major creases, anything really noticeable, just a little bit of surface creasing right there. This is nicer than the one that I got signed by him through the mail, but 
but I don't think I'm going to send this one through the mail. I don't think it's the right thing to do. I think it's going to go into my PC, and when I eventually start building my 50s Pirates team sets, I've already got one knocked out. All right, here's a football rookie that I want to send out TTM. The Jim Otto rookie, 50 bucks. I bought some expensive cards, but I know that if I got that signed, I would be really excited. I think he's $10 per. I would throw in a 20, hoping for the Hall of Fame inscription or something like that. Yeah. You get a little nervous when you start sending out cards like that. You send out a card they paid $50 for, you get nervous. And I got one more card to show you out of my 11 cards here. This one is going into my 1960s Pirates team sets. I knocked off a 62 high number. It's a rookie parade. There are two pop rits in those rookie parade cards. I knocked off the Bob Veal. 70 bucks is about as good as I can do at card shows for one. And this one is pretty darn good, other than a little bit of centering left to right, but it's not bad enough to be a deal breaker. He actually had two more of these. He also had two of the other 1962 Rookie Parade card with the Pirates on it. Um, didn't like any either of them for my collection, so I ended up selling with this one. Well, not selling. I grabbed this one in a heartbeat. So, um, got the Bob Vail Rookie Parade. Oh, my goodness. Dang, these high numbers stink when it comes to prices. <laughs> but I got it. So that's a big check off the list there. Oh, that was great. This was a great trip. Oh, my gosh. Do I have some epic TTM fuel here? Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. This one's obviously my favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday and an autograph and a trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, subscribe to my channel. My second video from this trip, we're going to show my cards that were under $10, and there was a lot of goodies there. All right, take care, everybody.